Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another one of my little quick tip videos. This is actually going to be an add-on from the last quick tip video that I did just a little bit ago um, where I was talking about always take the good with the bad when you do like big bulk buys from somebody or a collection. And we're actually going to stay on the subject of Star Wars since I was talking about that on my last video also because um, as soon as I got done, I was like, you know what, I need to talk about this because this is actually what I implement and what I do in my store to turn something that's potentially putting you in the red to into the green. And um, a lot of it actually has to do with the shipping. And I have two examples here to show you of things that I do. And it, I, I think there's a really good chance out there if you guys try this too and you guys have a big collection, you guys have action figures or whatever it may be, um, that you probably won't make any money on so you're like hesitant to even put it on there but you need the inventory kind of thing uh, to where this all be like okay I'll do it and so I want to talk about these two figures here first these are both Ray from Star Wars and they're actually a, the 2015 so they're actually not worth that much I think this one right here is like eight to ten dollars free shipping and then this one right here Ray sorry about the glare from my monitor guys is um, 10 to 12 dollars free shipping and so the reason why that these aren't worth that much is just because there's just so many of them out there right now and it, it's only six years right now so until uh, they all get sold and there's not that many left they're not gonna be worth that much so what I do uh, is uh, these go for around eight ounce eight ounces and so that's around three dollars and 85 cents to ship them you know anywhere in the US and uh, but the thing is is if you have two of these in a box they'll actually go for the 12 ounce uh, rate so instead of 385 I, I I don't know on top of my head how much the 12 ounce rate but I think it's like 470 now you got to think three dollars and 85 cents not including the supplies bubble wrap box and everything like that to ship one of these but if you put a listing up, we'll, we'll just go with the low end. It was, it was 8 and $10 or something like that. So we'll put $18 with free shipping. But if you put them together and then it sells for the $18, you're still only doing the 12 ounce rate, which only increases your shipping by like a dollar or a dollar 20 instead of having to pay almost $4 to ship each one of these and its own bubble wrap and its own box and everything like that. So. Potentially, if you're going to lose a few dollars on one of these, but you sell both of them together, this actually puts you in the green, you know, two to three dollars, and it doesn't, it, and it doesn't pile up in your death pile. And um, a lot of times, people will uh, buy when there's more than one like this if they feel that the, you know, the deal's okay. But it has to do with the same. Well, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, like kind of the, they're kind of like the same thing so I have another example to show you of what I mean on that but these two are both Ray right here but they're different they're different action figures and they have different accessories so it's the same thing but they're different so the other thing that I do is I have a ton of these action figures now I have mine in like a, in a nice in, in a bag right here because I have mine all marked for my inventory, which I think I might make a video on that too of how I do my inventory. It's not the best by any means, but at least it's enough to where I know where everything is. So I get a lot of these vintage action figures when I do my buy. And uh, they're from like the 1998 era. And some of these are gems, guys. Always, always look them up. Um, but a lot of them aren't worth, they're, they're all like around the 10 to $15 range. And so, I don't know the exact amount on these, so we're just going to go with the example of 10 and 10. So Darth Vader right here, and this is a flashback photo kind. Let's see if I can get a, a good uh, price. And um, what I do is I take Darth Vader, and then I take somebody that has to, that's, that has to do with Darth Vader. And for instance, is Luke Skywalker. So I take Luke Skywalker with flashback photo so they're the, so they're the same um flashback photo in the but two different characters and so if there's a collector out there somebody that wants to buy one and it's a decent price and they're like okay it's luke skywalker 
and Darth Vader. And so people will usually buy that. Another example is is Darth Vader with Obi Wan. You know, Obi Wan with Anakin Skywalker. Two different kind of stormtroopers. Things like that. Like I have tons of those, and those actually sell. And um, a lot of times, putting these together not only helps them sell faster. Sometimes you can even make more money off of it. Um, but because of me doing this, I save on shipping. And I, I don't think there's anything in my inventory here that I'm actually going to lose money on. Worst case scenario with these, um, I will just make my money back. And so if you implement something like that or come up with ideas like that, you will turn something that could potentially lose you money into something that will make you money. It's always coming up with little things like that that is what makes people successful in the business so yeah I, I thought of that and I was like you know what I need to talk about this right away and so yeah I, I hope hopefully somebody learned something from this and this will make somebody feel a little bit more comfortable be like you know what I'm gonna go try it I'm gonna go buy that collection and anything that you know is very low very low in in value wise on eBay you know maybe bundle them up with like two or even a three pack you know i just specifically do two because um it keeps it the 12 ounce mark i believe on a lot of these uh f like the vintage star wars um you can do three sometimes four and keep it within a pound so you can you can you know experiment with that but that's all i have for you guys today thank you everybody for watching hit the like button subscribe if you like to see more content like this this is just me uh, doing my reselling journey because I would like to make this my full-time job and just better my life in general. So thank you for watching and I'll see everybody on the next videos.